Another week, another public cloud provider takes a dirt nap. Let's talk about it. So welcome back to the Cloud Computing Insider. I'm Dave. Let's get started. So uh, if you've been watching the news today, and uh, today is, I think, the 28th. Yeah, the tw I'm sorry. No, the 30th of October. Uh, major outage hit Microsoft's cloud services uh, starting midday on October 29th. So I guess that was yesterday. Uh, disrupting uh, access to Microsoft Azure, Microsoft 365, including Outlook, Teams, OneDrive, Xbox, Xbox Live, Minecraft, and multiple other platforms. Um, it's funny, the way I heard about it, normally like last time when the AWS outage occurred last week, was my Starbucks app didn't work, so, which I evidently was dependent on uh, uh, Amazon for its backend services, who knew? Uh, this time I, my phone started to ring uh, off the hook or text messages really uh, from reporters that wanted quotes around the outage. Uh, you know, and here we go again. So the outage affected users and businesses across North America, Europe, and Asia, causing significant downtime for organizations and individuals who rely on Microsoft infrastructure for daily operations. And obviously there's going to be a cascading effect as well. And we saw the applications that went down. It's not only just the cloud provider that goes down and whatever uh, customers are using that cloud provider at that particular time, but also cascading effect supply chain on the services that are dependent on that cloud provider, which are more than we thought. 